Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to another one of my investing videos and in this video I'm going to talk about Twitter and how do you set up an option caller strategy with Twitter. I think Twitter is a great stock. I like it. Uh, there's lots of chancy uh, maybe it'll go up to the moon, maybe it'll sink down to the bottom of the earth, who knows what it's going to do, but I like Twitter, I like the volatility, and I think the option caller strategy is a great setup to use on a stock like Twitter. So, without further ado, uh, before I get into Twitter first, let me briefly explain what is an option caller. An option caller, the first thing you do is you buy a stock in multiples of 100 shares. So maybe you get 100 shares, maybe you get 200 shares, whatever. And then the second thing you do is you buy the same number of put options per 100 shares. So if you buy 100 shares, you buy one put option. If you have 200 shares, then you get two put options and so forth. And then the third thing you do is you sell the same number of call options per 100 shares. So again, if you buy 100 shares, you sell one call option. If you buy 200 shares, you sell two call options and so on. And why do we go through all of this? Why do we go through the trouble of buying all these options, selling calls, and all of this? And the answer is because, number one, put options increase in value if the stock goes down. So that protects your money. If you own a stock and you lose a fraction of the money that you would lose if you did not buy put options. And number two, when you sell call options, you are compensated for that transaction and you get money instantly credited to your account and that offsets the price of the put option. And finally, it's a very easy to understand strategy, uh, nothing complicated about this at all as you will see as you watch through this video. So. Twitter. The first thing you do is you buy some Twitter. So you buy 100 shares and you can see today is the market is closed. Today is Saturday, February the 24th, 2018. The closing price, which was yesterday on Friday, was $32.66. But if you move a little over to the right, you can see the bid is $32.66. The ask is $32.00. 80 so let's say that we get it for 32.75 and so congratulations you are the proud owner of 100 shares at twitter now next thing we do is we buy our put option and these are the puts that i like you can see i circled the key figures uh these ones these are uh, excuse me these put options they expire in January of 2020, 692 days from now, and I like the $30 puts. I circled them over there on the right, lower right, and you can see the bid is 575, the ask is 595. So let's say that we get this for $585. So you buy it, congratulations, you now own a put option. Now we look at the call options and I circled the key figures and I like the, well first of all at the top, uh, these call options they expire in 111 days, June 15, 2018, that is about four months from now, a little bit less. And I like the $38 calls, you can see that you get the bid is $170, the ask is $174, so let's say you get it for $172, so you sell to open this call option and congratulations, you now own a short position of a call option, expires four months from now, a little bit less, June of 2018. So the tail of the tape, number one, you now bought, you own 100 shares of Twitter at $32.75. Number two, you bought a put option at 30, I'm sorry, $30, expires two years from now, 23 months, January 2020, and you spent $585. And then you sold to open a $38 call option, expires in 111 days, June 2018, and you got $172 for that. Now let's calculate our risk and so we do a little bit of math. So number one, we spent $585 for that put option. So we could lose that money, right? And then number two, the strike price of that put is $30, but we bought Twitter at $32.75. So number four there, we have to subtract those two numbers and we get $275. We could lose $275. If Twitter goes down from where it's at now, $32.75, and it goes down to $30. Now, if it goes below $30, we don't lose any more money. And the 
reason why is because we have a put option, which is a contract to sell our stock at $30 a share. So if Twitter goes to $29, yeah, we lose another dollar per share in Twitter stock, but we gain a dollar per share in our put option because we can take our $30 put option and we can sell our $29 stock at a $30 profit, or I should say at $30 for a $1 profit. So every dollar that it goes down, Twitter is a dollar that we make in our put option. That's the beauty of the option caller strategy, and that is the nuts and bolts and the essence of how it works and why it protects our money and why I like this strategy so much. So our total risk margin is $860, right? So we spent $585 on the put. We could lose that money and we could also lose $275. We add those together and we get $860. That's the most money that we could lose between now and 23 months from now if we didn't do anything. But moving on, okay, we are selling call options, okay? So if the price of Twitter stays flat, okay, number one, this is how this works. Number one, we sold to open a $38 call option, expires in 111 days, a little less than four months from now, June 2018 ex expiration, and we get $172 for that, and that money is credited to our account instantly. So we make $172 every four months, actually less than four months. And so I put this in these numbers in my trusty calculator, and you will make over $1,200 when that thirty when that thirty dollar put expires in January 2020, 23 months from now, so that twelve hundred dollar profit you have to subtract the five hundred and eighty five dollars that you spent on the put because you will lose that money because a thirty dollar put will the value of that put will go to zero. So your total profit between now and 23 months, if Twitter stays flat and it doesn't move, and that's if you sell the same exact call option at the same exact strike price over and over every four months, you will make $172 every four months, okay? You could sell lower strike prices and try to make more money that way, but if you just sold the same call option, the same call option, you will make $615 in 23 months for a total 18.77% in 23 months. That's about 9% annual interest, uh, I'm sorry, 9% return on your money per year. So that's pretty good. And think, think about a person who just buys a stock and he holds and he holds and the stock never moves. Well, his money's just sitting there collecting dust while you're actually making money on, on this nice option caller strategy. Now, if the price of Twitter goes up, this is our best case scenario. And it, it goes above $38 a share. Well, number one, we bought Twitter at $32.75. We sold to open a $38 call option, and we got $172 of that. It expires in 111 days, less than four months. So number three, what ends up happening is we end up selling Twitter at $38 for a profit of $525 per share. Okay, and then number four is we add the $172, which we also made on that $38 call option, and we get a total of $697. Now we have to subtract money that we will lose on our put option, and that comes to, and we will lose about $170 between now and the next four months. Okay, so t if Twitter goes above $38 between now and four months, which is how long the call option expires, we will lose about $170 in that $30 put option. Now, how do I know this? Well, the answer is I cheat. I look at option Greeks, and these option Greeks are like a cheat sheet for me. So here is a screenshot of the option Greeks for Twitter, and I underline, or I should say, I highlighted in red the key uh, numbers. And so I circled the $32 puts and I underlined in red there on the lower left the expiration, January 17, 2020. So you know that we are looking at the same put option. And there on the right, in the lower right corner, I circled two key figures. The first one is that negative 0.356 and that is delta. That is under the delta co column and 
delta is an option Greek that option traders or investors use to calculate how much a call or a put option will go up or down in value as the stock goes as the price of the stock goes up and down dollar for dollar so in this case the delta is negative 0.356 the reason why it's negative is because it's a put option if it was a call option then it would have a positive number but this is a put option it is a negative option which means that if the stock goes down the value of the put option will go up by that much per dollar so in this case it is negative and in this case and, and then the next one over there is the theta that's time decay that is almost insignificant it is negative 0.005 which means that you will lose one dollar in the next 20 days okay because 0 0.01 would be one dollar a day well this is point zero zero five so that comes to not eat not it, it would take 20 it would take 20 or maybe it's two days I guess it might be every two days but either way it is a very small figure so I cheat I look at the option Greeks and so that's how I know that I would lose one hundred seventy dollars on the put option if Twitter went up from thirty two seventy five to thirty eight dollars because we would make five dollars and twenty five cents per share and thirty five that delta of negative zero point three five times five would be about one hundred seventy dollars so I know that I would lose one hundred seventy dollars so that would give me a total profit of five hundred twenty seven dollars for a sixteen percent return in the next four months or less right we we make a six hundred ninety seven dollar profit and then we would subtract that one seventy dollars and we would make a sixteen percent return if Twitter goes up from where it's at now thirty two dollars and seventy five cents to thirty eight dollars or higher and actually if Twitter went higher then we would actually get yeah, that could actually cut into our profit because then the value of the put option would go down even more Okay, it would go down more because there's still delta. The delta would go down a little bit, but we would lose. So we we might want to think about selling out or maybe opening opening up a new position if Twitter went to thirty eight dollars between now and the next four months. But sixteen percent return in four months is a forty eight percent yearly return, and I think that's a wonderful return on your money for a very low risk. Now the fun part, okay? If the price of Twitter goes down, you have to manage your money, okay? And here are a few things you can do. If Twitter goes down a lot, let's say it goes down to $25, well, the delta was $35 per dollar, so that means the value of that put option would go up. Twitter, uh, we bought Twitter at $32.75. If Twitter went down, to $25 that would be a $7.75 loss but that would we would take that delta of the put and then we would multiply the that by the uh, $7.75 and that would come to about $300 maybe $400 so our put option would go up from $585 to about eight or nine hundred dollars and so we could sell that $30 put option there, number one, and buy a lower strike price. Uh, maybe we would sell it, we would make take that money and buy a $24 put option or a $23 put option. And then we would take some risk off the table. We would uh, maybe spend five or $600 for that new put option and that would lower our dollar cost average uh, of our Twitter shares which we bought for $32.75 because we're making profit. Okay, second thing we could do is we could continue to sell call options, like we sold the $38 call, expires in four months. Well, we could sell $35 calls or $34 calls if Twitter really went down and we think there's something going, going screwball, then we can sell lower, lower strike price of calls until Twitter decides to turn around, then we can raise the price again. Okay, third thing we can do is we can sell credit call spread multiple contracts so we can add to our position and we could sell let's say a 
call option and we could buy a $48 call option so we would need to put some money into our account to cover that difference but if we had that money then we could do that and we could make more premium that way and another thing we could do is we could sell credit put spread so let's say Twitter goes down a little bit let's say it goes down to $28 or something well we can sell 20 if you remember we spent $585 for a $30 put so that means that if the price of Twitter goes down $5.85 a share below 30 which would be $24.15 we could sell $24 put option strike prices and we can do that safely because we own a $30 put so if the price of Twitter goes below $24 then we make money on our $30 put and we don't lose any money we make nice profit okay so that's another thing we can do if Twitter goes down and we think it's gonna do a bounce if we, if we think it's gonna come back up when well, we could start selling put options okay so the tail of the tape here is that profits that we make from puts as an option seller I mean this this option caller strategy you are buying options and you are also selling options you are both you are both the seller and the buyer and you are making money in both directions and you can make profit by uh, buying puts and selling them at a higher price and then buying them for cheaper you can make money selling calls and this all lowers your dollar cost average on Twitter which you know maybe you think it's a great stock I do I have 200 shares of Twitter right now and I have my own option caller uh, where I I bought I bought Twitter at $33.15 and then I bought some $32 puts and I sold some $40 puts uh, long-term puts and short-term calls and and uh, I'm doing just fine and dandy and I think Twitter is a great stock for this particular strategy and by managing your option caller position each month this is a great way to make money in the stock market and you can do it safely and you can go to sleep every night knowing that your money is safe you don't have to worry about stop losses and the reason why I don't like stop loss orders is because if the stock goes down and you you, you get up you, you can end up getting stopped out and you sell your stock and then if it bounces back up guess what you you miss the boat right well with the option caller you don't have to worry about any of that you just make money selling calls continue to pay off your put option and ultimately you make money in the long run I like it it's my favorite strategy and uh, I, I love doing these kind of videos so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you got something out of it as always if you have any questions feel free leave comments in the comment section and I will see you in the next video have a good day